I could say she is a nice person, but I wouldn't say she are a nice person. I might say we are nice people, but I would never say we is nice people. This is called subject verb agreement. Basically, if the subject is a singular noun, you use a singular verb. If the subject is a plural noun, you use a plural verb. Seems simple enough, right? But there are several tricky situations where you may not be sure if a subject is singular or plural. Let's figure those out. Your subject might be composed of more than one noun or pronoun. If the words are connected by and, use a plural verb. For example, Susan and I are playing tennis tomorrow. We would say Susan is playing tennis tomorrow or I am playing tennis tomorrow because those are singular subjects, so they take singular verbs. However, the combination Susan and I is plural, so we use a plural verb, are. But if the words are connected by or, or nor, use a singular verb. Neither Susan nor her mother enjoys running. Here, the subject is the word neither, which is singular, so we use a singular verb, enjoys. If you take out the phrase Susan nor her mother, you get the sentence, neither enjoys running which is correct. A little trick is to mentally say to yourself, neither one, neither one enjoys running. That gives a subject verb agreement. There are other words like neither that always call for a singular verb. These include anybody, anyone, each, either, everybody, everyone, nobody, no one, somebody, and someone. Did someone say something? Is somebody here? No, it's no one. Nobody's here. Everybody left me all alone. Singular. Often, the subject of your sentence is some distance from the verb. This can lead to confusion if your subject is singular, but there is a clause with something plural in it before the verb. For example, Mason, along with his brothers, goes fishing every weekend. If you take out the phrase, along with his brothers, you'll find the sentence is, Mason goes fishing every weekend. Don't let that plural word brothers fool you. That's not the subject of the sentence. When in doubt, take out a pen and circle the subject and the verb to make it extra clear. They need to agree. What about when the subject follows the verb? The same rules apply, you just have to be careful. For example, there are many trees in the forest. The subject is trees, which is plural. So we use a plural verb, are. This is a rule that many people break in casual language, saying things like, where's my keys, instead of, where are my keys? But we know the second version is correct. A plural subject calls for a plural verb. Let's talk about some special cases. Even though you're only wearing one pair of pants, this is a plural noun. Same with trousers and jeans. My jeans are dark blue. Your trousers match your sweater. We use plural verbs to agree with these plural nouns. Same goes for a pair of scissors. My scissors are very sharp. There's another type of noun that is kind of the opposite. These are called collective nouns. And although this kind of noun is really about more than one person, you treat it as a singular noun and so it takes a singular verb. Family, for example. My family is large. Team is another one. The team is celebrating its victory. You might think the word police is a collective noun, but no we treat it as a plural. The police are conducting investigations.